everybody. Um, last video, I was talking about the boarding school era and how we don't really hear about it in history and whatnot of this country. And it's really not a good thing. And for both, for what actually happened and for not knowing about it. Um, it was covered up. And the only reason it came out was because people spoke out about it. And I'm just trying to do my part and getting my language back out there and getting the history back out there. It's something that needs to be done. And a whole culture was almost erased from this history. And I... When I came to college, I was like, I'm just going to blow through everything. I'm going to get my degree, and it's going to be amazing. And then I'm like, I want to learn more about the part of me that I don't know anything about. And I started taking Native American courses, and I'm in a Native American experience course, and I'm also in a National Bay 1, well, 101. It's an introductory class, and what I'm learning is what I'm teaching you guys, which helps me learn in the long run, so it's, it's a good thing. And my teacher likes this as well, or he supports me doing this. At least I think he does. He's a pretty good teacher. I have two teachers in a National Web A, which is awesome. But I'm so happy to learn something about me. And it's, it's amazing. And the video about the boarding school will be posted today, along with the one I'm doing today, because I wanted my teacher to go over and see if it was respectable. And Please, if you leave a comment or anything, be kind, because a lot of people went through hell during those years. And it was in the 1970s, it became legal again to do anything in your culture. It began. It became legal again to sing songs in Nashua Bay, to speak your lingu language, to be able to play the drums in a certain way. That was all illegal. It was illegal to be Native American at a time. Basic, well, not illegal to be Native American, but basically they stripped everything about the Native Americans away. They were forcefully taking kids, and that's, that's not a good thing. There's accounts of kids going back home and not knowing how to speak Anashawabi again, to speak their own language. And that's heartbreaking. You can't communicate with your own family. But today we're going over the clan system. The clan system is complex but yet simple. There's different clans. There's the. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about seven, eight different clans right now. Um, because there's so many of them, and, like, some clans are, are derived from other clans, so you have so many. And, like, there's the Nebe, which is the water clan, the Wawashkish, which is the deer clan, um, and then you have the Ajijik clan, which is the crane, crane clan, and then the Bene, which is the bird, Makwa, which is the bear clan, which is awesome because bears are awesome. There's the Mayingan clan, which is the wolf clan. Um, the turtle clan came, spawned from the Nebe clan, which is the water clan. My family has both been through the turtle clan and the Mayingan clan, which is the wolf clan. So that's cool. I have two clans in my bloodline, and I have to say that I am 
sort of like split down the middle on how how I interact with both because see my Angan clan they're like a leadership kind of clan where you're if you meet people that are naturally bossy kind of thing but they don't lead just for the sake of leading they don't take control just to be in control they they like to get stuff done and on a timely matter um they're very educational they like to teach but in in a way they're more hardcore than some of the other educational clans um where some would be more gentle the Mayangan clan is like, hey, you need to learn this because your culture is dying out and a little bit helps at a time. Which, oh, I have, I definitely have the whole take charge when it needs to be taken kind of thing. And then from the turtle clan, I have the more soft side to me where hey, I'll be there for you, I will help you out, the more nurturing mother kind of thing. So I am like cut down straight in the middle, which is kind of awesome, kind of weird, because they're two polar opposites in a way. But it works. Um, and there later in the video, there will be a picture of the seven star, seven point star, which is the Doldim. Um, which shows most, well, at least seven of the main clans in Anashuabe, which it, which encompasses the Adawa, Potawatomi, and Chippewa or Ojibwe. And this is in, like, the Michigan, Wisconsin, Canada area. Is the Great Lakes area kind of thing. Because Great Lakes are amazing. Because they just are. But don't worry, we're going to get into gaming here in a little bit. So, see you in a bit. Okay, so we're gaming today, like I said. Let's get into it. So, um, I have brought up the clan system. I'm going to describe some of the clans to you. The Makwat are the protectors. They're the people that want their space. Um, There's two kinds. they get crowded easily. They get upset in a way easily, but the people represent human embodiments of the bear themselves. That's the closest I can get, is just picture a bear in a human body. Very protective. The Benet is the bird clan. And... Hitching a ride. They're they're another education based kind of clan. They believe in the old stories. They tell the old stories. These are the people that they're just fun to be around. They teach with examples. They like I said, stories. That's how they'll teach you. This was the, the old stories, and which in themselves are living still. They have lessons, and that's what they want to teach you. Which that in itself is a pretty. I'm detecting an incoming arc fall. I have high hopes for this, but let's be careful. Big description there. Oh god. 
totally not on my other character. That's why I'm freaking out. Why is my equipment different? Uh, I figured out why. Stop and hurry. Alright, I have a hell bug there. Oh great. An electric base killed my UI. I'm gonna die. I'm a sitting duck. Um the Mung, which is the loon, are the more the family gather, gathering people kind of thing. They like to get people together. Ah! Hellbug! Ow! Fuck! Dang! Sorry! I swear too much. Um. Believe now. This really hurts. Overcharging. people that, you know, like I said, they get together. Like, if you've heard the whole saying of a barn raising, where all the people to get together to help out, this is what they do. They get a whole bunch of people together to do stories, to have dinner, to have fun, to do stuff. Let's go earn some script, but uh, let's also stay alive to spend it. I really can't smack you well. Oh, another shield. Strike time. I could use that. And then the bay is the water clan, which is another knowledgeable clan. They're the mediators. They're, if you get into a fight, they're the ones that are going to be there that help you figure everything out. I am definitely not of that clan. I'm a little more hot-headed. And then the Wawashkish which is the deer clan. They're the more generous, the hospitable, and the creative. Basically, they're the philosophers of, of the tribe. And tribe in itself is very... How do you put it? Modest for what we are. Then you have the Martin clan. The Wabishkishans. Sorry if I just totally murdered the pronunciation of that. My handwriting sucks, so. Oof. It's kind of hard to read it, but 
they are the ones, well, they're the ones that place the refugees, that they learn about right. you so they can place you where you belong. They, they also take care of the land management and everything. It keeps from overhunting of one area or overfishing of one area or getting too crowded in one place. They spread everything out, which is very... It's a good idea. It's a good idea to do that. Because if you just hunt in one area, you're going to clean out all the animals there, and then you're going to be left hungry if you don't hunt in any other... Oh, Volge. I don't like Volge. Volge doesn't like me. Please just be stuck there. Ah. I get you need a medic. I'm coming. Or not. I have to play this smart. But I'm not playing it smart. Not at all. There's a trooper. Oh, you're hurting me. It's not very nice. Oh. Oh, I can charge this up. No wonder why I like it. Okay. Gotta take that trooper out. Oh, there's another trooper down there. I don't think that's a trooper. I think that's the main thing that wants to eat us alive. Done deal. All right, I gotta heal up. Reload everything. All right. gotta take care of this guy. Oh crap! One kill. We got more bulge incoming. Alright, that's another bomber. Oh, it's a trooper! Crap! They're really tough. Or I just have sucky weapons. Probably that. More than anything. Oh, someone's trying to sneak up on me. Alright. I think we've covered most of the clans. 
or the more. Oh, he's found his way up here. This is gonna hurt me in the long run. I need to run. Because they found their way up on my hill. Alright, that's one. I can run over here. Hopefully I can climb that rock. Please let me climb the rock. Please? No? No? Okay. done. Running up over here should get me at least over here. Do I have to start this all over again? I think I do. Totally missed that shot. Oh, that's the guy that I don't want to fight. Because he's mean. Ow. And he teleports. Let's get back up on my rock. Oh, God. can't tell this is my sniping post, right? Oh, he's right beneath me! Crap! Oh god, it's gonna take forever. I'm just using my sniper rifle on you. I just need to get your shield down. I'm not doing very good at that either. All right, doing a little bit better. Still got a lot of shield on him. But I think I'm r right where he can't exactly teleport up to get to me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe. All I know is he can also heal himself. Level up my light machine gun as well. I killed him! Woo! Now I'm 
Now I think I have a trooper to go kill. And then we'll call it. That was fun. Exactly what we needed to do. So, so I'm sorry if this wasn't a very action-packed round. But, uh, we killed a viscera. Or however you want to call them. But yeah. With sucky weapons, we did it! Woo! Alright, I'll see you later. Bye, ma!